Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bandit Kings of Ancient China, starring me, Zuljin, and of course, Blueface Beast. Today, we are going to go back to town, because the last episode, we had a really, really good, uh, oh, I'm too tired, dang, um, we had a really, really good hero in there, let's see, view, home, people, and I think it was... Yeah, God's Vanguard. Pretty good guy. I don't think this takes a turn. Yeah, he's not the best, but 57 strength equates to decent attack power. Not that good in a country leader due to his uh, IMC stats over there, but decent. So, what we're going to do now, I guess since we don't have a whole lot of, um, of body to go to town, hopefully we don't lose the ability to go get him. I'm going to go ahead and service. We're going to raise up food just to probably about 30 I guess that should be alright yeah blue face beast is at 25 body let's do two head snakes since he has the best strength and land is now 20 very good so yeah a few turns in and we should be able to go and back to town with blue face beast and grab who we need to grab Rotation's coming up. It's about to turn spring, I believe. Was that January or February's turn? No, that was January's turn. Okay. So one more rip here. Service form. And we'll need five more body for Blueface Beast to go to town. So two hit snake. There we go. Land is 23. Yeah, that's going to equate to a lot of food. Here we go. Uh-oh. Mysterious Epidemic 13. Isn't that where it was last time again? Oh no, it was an 18 last time. Ooh, that's Harry Priest. That ain't good. Brother Blueface Beast, three tigers are terrorizing the townspeople. Something must be done. Alright, so this is... Every once in a while, this is a random event. Now, there's two ways to gain popularity. I guess I should start by telling you guys about those. So, if you kill animals, you get a little bit of popularity, which is only like three or so. Um, but if you expand in the countries and the people's loyalty goes up above 40, you also get popularity for that. It can drop just like you gained it. So it's really, really important to get it where you can. Um, popularity, you need 250 or 255. I forget the exact number to be able to attack uh, Evil Gale Kui personally. So what we need to do is get that popularity up. And right now, I'll go back to our hero view. And as we can see, it's only 11. So that's because we have one country uh, populated right now. I think it's about 10 to 12 points per country, depending on what people's loyalty is. Um, so if we went to kill those tigers right now, it would take a turn, and we'd gain 3 to 5 popularity, I believe. The bad thing is that if you don't have any troops, you really can't fight these guys, no matter what your stats are, because it'll bring your body down to like 5. It'll take forever for him to recover, and we just don't want to do that at all. So the good news is they stay in the country 3 uh, months, I think the whole season. Pretty much any event that you have that happens all season long. So it's not really necessary. It doesn't do anything. It might uh, hurt your people's loyalty a little bit if they stay in, but I've never noticed a huge, huge difference. And plus, I have a few tricks to gain some popularity later on, so I really don't think we need to worry about animals right now. We have so much country development to do. So we're going to do, let's see, I believe my, yeah, my power is our only hope. So we're going to go, uh-oh, I didn't even check. I might have just screwed up, y'all. I sure did. God's Vanguard is already flew to coop. Dang! Well, that's what you get for playing real time and not checking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna abuse save states or anything. Mistakes are allowed, you know? Oh well. One month behind, we can deal with that. Alright. So, we're gonna just get back on our service and tip, I guess. 23. I want a couple more months of this. And I think I'm gonna give Blueface Beast a little rest for a little while. And actually, we want to start watching the rate too. Now that we have some gold established, really want to start buying some troops when we have the moment. We don't want to do that when the rate's too high, because the troops are gonna be more expensive naturally. We want to get them cheap. Bargain, bargain soldiers is what we want. Walmart troops if we can. 
All right. So the rate's 52 right now, which is kind of high. Um, probably in our best interest to wait a few more turns, see what happens. So we're going to continue to form. Fill our backs. It's hurting. Two-hit snake. Yes, sir. Right away. Land is 29. So that's going to be plenty, I believe. I was going to go to 30, but eh, one turn won't make that much of a difference. I'm going to start going for wealth again. Gold is the resource that you need heavily. Food will be once you get high in troops, but like I said, after you start producing out of one country, you can kind of just spread it around if you have to. Oh, look. Now we have people in our country again. Few home people. I bet you God's vanguard is there. Nope. Lone Fire, One Horned Dragon. We can't get this guy yet. He's actually pretty good. He's got a 51, a 40, and a 38. Not too bad, 92 body. Uh, but we can do without him. Let's service again. This time we're going to build. Do two hit snake again. Just let's do tiger fighter. Two hit snake is at 68. Blue face beast's body is at 40. Gold eyed tiger, black wind, they're kind of just chilling in the corner. Being bench warmers. Like I said, they really, <laughs> really aren't too useful. You know, but heroes are heroes. I'm not tripping. I'll take him. Hopefully the rotation comes up for us pretty quick. I like... Sometimes it benefits you to have a late level rotation because, you know, everybody else has already taken their turns. Um, and you can do drastic stuff because you know they can't recover. So let's see here. Service. Build. And as you can see, our loyalty has been... People's loyalty has been going up and up and up. So we should be very, very close to 100. Now I'll give you guys what I was talking to you earlier about uh, that popularity deal. Country 10 and Country 20 have some, uh, there's, I forget what it is, I believe it's called building a mountain fort. But when you own both of those countries, when you occupy both those countries, and your people's loyalty is 95 or higher in either of them, or in both of them, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, you end up getting what's called, like, um, I think it's a mountain alliance that they call it, and you get a hundred bonus popularity, which means you need a much less countries. You can have a, a much higher concentration of troops without spreading out too, too much to get those, um, to get those popularity stats up. All right. Two-head snake again. Up to 74, we are going to get an extremely high amount of gold when we uh, when we go to cash in. Okay, let's see if any events happen. Riot broke out in 13. Man, <laughs> poor old Harry Priest is really, really getting it right now. We had an epidemic, a riot. Not too good. I wouldn't be surprised if he has that country a little developed and one of his neighbors don't go after him. So let's see. We are still doing pretty good on that. Now, I would hate to have somebody come in here. Now, yeah, see, our rate is 60. It's, <laughs> it's really, really painful to not buy uh, to buy troops right now, but it's getting to where it's really, really bad because let's look at it this way. Let me go to the map view. If we were to attack someone right now, in three turns, we can have enough time established to get that people's loyalty up by giving food to 100 and collect the taxes in the wealth and the form that they've been working for so hard all this year. So we definitely don't want to do that. I am going to take the plunge and buy a couple hundred troops. I think that'll be best. So we're just going to go to, I believe it's, no, it's not train. It's been a while. got to forgive me. Um, oh, what? Organized. There we go. Har Min. And 7.7 .7 gold a pop. Not the best rate, but let's do, yeah, let's do 200 because we're going to get a lot of gold. Alright, and we're going to distribute them to two of our biggest guys. This is how we'll do it. Uh, really, really not interested in doing anything less than 100 on a unit as far as buying. What ends up happening is another 100 unit, even though the stats are weaker, can really overpower it. I don't know how the metrics work. I just know it's it's pretty severe when a country ha when a when a, a hero has a hundred troops 
in comparison. It's kind of like a snowball effect, if you will, when they start battling it out. All right, 231 gold left. Great. October. Let me view people one more time. Really important that we get the best troops when they come around before expansion. There's God's Vanguard again. I'm going to go ahead and grab him because he's worth it. Like I said, Black Wind is almost not even a hero. And this will be October. So we'll have time to give to him. And hopefully the season change won't run him off. In addition to that, I'm probably going to sell some food. Alright, got God's Vanguard. Really, really good. Let's see if any of the other guys come. I really don't think so. No. Why not try someone else? Let's see. White Tiger. Thank you, but I have my work. And... Lone Fire. No, Immortal Lua won't. You could just leave me alone, Will. Screw you then, dude. <laughs> Alright. So let's go to market. And since the rate's relatively high... Almost screwed that word up. We're going to sell... I'm going to go ahead and sell... I don't know. 400 food. Okay. It didn't do much, but it gave us a little bit of gold. It's stuff that I wouldn't have... Uh, had to... Well, it's food that I wouldn't have used anyway, I'm sure. And smithy... We can just buy... Uh, the rate's still kind of high. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna avoid doing that for now. Let's just go back. Okay, so... Next month will be November. We'll be able to give to God's Vanguard. Then... December will come around and we'll be able to service one more time. And we'll be rested up for January taxes and we'll start doing some crazy troop stuff. Maybe even start picking on Country 7 next year. That would be really nice. Raw Iron Priest's country right now, his, his form and his wealth are probably really, really, really high. Uh, he amasses some good stats. He just doesn't do anything all game. He's not really aggressive. I've seen him come out of his shell a couple times, but nothing that, uh, nothing real exciting. Uh, let's see. Hans Vanguard. What's crazy is he's rated higher than Two-Head Snake. I don't know how the game rates him, but to me, one really, really high stat would overcompensate for a, a few mediocre stats. Prefecture 10. Ooh, man. You see, that's no good. He is Rope Scholar, and he is probably not going to get taxes, which is bad. Like I said, the guy has too hard, too much to manage at one time. He's just, he's probably got 15 heroes, probably all of them are mediocre to low loyalty. Some of them end up leaving him sometimes, it gets so bad. Uh, and he's got good heroes too, so attacking that guy's pretty good to do early on. We might go that direction. The bad thing about that is, I'll show you all right quick. When you attack 10, 11 and 20 are touching you. <laughs> that means they can start soliciting gold, and they are strong. They're really strong. So maybe a raw iron priest is a better idea. Let's see. Hopefully we get some overflow. And look, we got somebody else in town. Man, these guys are like just roaming through. Like I said earlier on when I settled this place, people are just attracted to this country. Wood Dragon, who is this? Uh, 43, 47, 51. It's got a little bit of wisdom, some mercy, low, low integrity. And charisma, I think, is 38? I don't know. 93 body. He's a shipsman, but he's an outlaw. We can probably pick him up, but I do not want to chance it. He might be here next year. I'm just going to give us one more boost to our money supply here with Blue Face Beast. And I think we probably just gained some stat with him, too. Well, the 78, that's going to be a good haul, y'all. I mean, it's not going to be insane, but it's going to be good. Is there no one to challenge this villain? As we go on, Hugh Zong will start saying different stuff the more popularity we get, because we'll get recognized. So that'll be cool stuff. Um, it's kind of a an on-off switch. You can't attack Gale Queen until you get 255 or 250. And you can once you do. So it's not like you gain any bonuses up until then. What you will get is the ease of recruiting really, really strong heroes like Immortal Luo. Look at that. 2905 gold. And you see that little 28 form? Look at the food that I, I mustered up. Um, with 200 troops to feed too. So not having to worry about that at all, you guys. Um, yeah, that's perfect, man. The rate's 53. 
we're going to have to get ourselves some troops, get together, and really start scooping out country number seven. But we'll do that next year and next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is Zuljin signing off, and have a good one.